I'm George Deronda, and welcome to Primetime. And what a show we have for you tonight on the big program. And by the way, whenever you hear someone in the media or someone doing news referring to gross national product, they're not talking about Madonna's recent show. Hey, but big show tonight, and as a bonus for you, the home viewers, that's right, you've guessed it. We're heading out via satellite over to Showcase Cinemas, and we're going to be watching them serve up some snacks. Hey, hey, punch it up, and let's see what's, what's going on now. Yeah, how about that? Serving up snacks at Showcase Cinemas. Hey, let's bring on our first guest and see if he can do any better. It's our very own mechanical man right here at the Big E. It's Randy Burns. Well, Randy, welcome to Prime Time. George, it's a pleasure to be on Prime Time. This is the first time I've had a mechanical man. <laughs> on your show. On my show. Yeah, let's preface that. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, How long have you been doing the mechanical man? I've been a robot for 15 years. Been, been practicing being a robot. Yeah, I say practicing because I, I think of myself as a doctor of sorts, and doctors practice what they do, don't they? That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> It is, if you're when, going when under the knife, yeah. <laughs> but, I, I want a professional, a guy who's not practicing. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, I've been, been doing my act for 15 years around the world, traveling all over, and this has got to be one of my most favorite places to perform, right here at the Big E in Boston, uh, not Boston, rather, in, in Massachusetts. I have so much fun at this fair, I can't tell you. Uh, and right here, in this area, in Storrowton Village, it's so beautiful. It's the picturesque setting. Picture skew. <laughs> Picture skew. Picture skew. That's when you're being non cohalent <laughs> uh, I'm, Las... throwing your, I'm throwing your train Las... of thought off. Las... <laughs> Las Vegas. You're from Las... Las Vegas. That's right. Where it's a state law, you got to do this. I don't know why, but if I figure it out. I think there are like 500 guys that do that in Las Vegas. I think you're right. They are, yeah. You get to get over the state line, you got to do that. H home of Tony Roy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Wayne. Uh, Wayne. The Midnight Idol, he's there. Yes, Wayne. I remember him when he was blonde once. That's right. When he was singing, Don Cushane, darling, Don Cushane. Hey. Uh, now, were you a singer before you became the mechanical man? Do I sound like it? I don't think so. <laughs> what did you do before you became I was, a mechanical man? I was an actor. I was an actor. I wasn't a very big actor. <laughs> but I lived in Hollywood, tried to get work, did not, became a mechanical man. I mean, that's it in a nutshell. We all have to eat. I, exactly. <laughs> I got tired of eating pancakes for breakfast, lunch, and supper. And craft dinner, ate a lot of that craft dinner stuff. So I got tired of that. I wanted to eat some meat, you know. So I got a job being the mechanical man, and I was being paid for eight hours a day, five days a week, and I would be a robot. Where was your first job as mechanical man? On the Queen Mary in Long Beach, where she's permanently docked. I was performing as people walk through the tour route in a museum setting, and I would be robotic, and I would either interact with them or just ignore them completely and pretend to be a robot. And people would be walking by. It's very nice museum, nice mood, uh, lighting and carpeting and air conditioning. And they're very quiet in there, very nice. And I'd just be performing like the robot, being very, very quiet myself, not doing much of anything, standing behind stanchions and ropes. So people would come over to the area I was standing in, which was a reconstruction of a first-class suite or dining room, and they'd read the... Oh, all about the suite right there is there a little plaque and they'd read about it and then they'd look up at me and I'd ignore them and they'd read that again and then I'd like reach out and go to grab them and they'd yeah! <laughs> get a lot of that stuff you know women throw their purses at me and stuff and had a lot of fun there well with all the new innovations in motion pictures maybe you can get back into acting we have mechanical lizards now could happen that's possible uh, I like Robocop 3 is coming out I don't know if you knew that I thought hey there's maybe a part for me maybe Robocop 3 Junior <laughs> yeah no I don't think so but I, I'll consider it I'm a negotiator I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the robots are really coming into their own, you know, and I, I want to be a part of that. I've had a lot of experience. So you're basically ahead of your time. I am. I, oh, I've been 15 years ahead of my time all my life. But it's nice to be a mechanical man and be performing here for the people to see so they can come right up and touch the mechanical man, interact with me. I love that. That one-on-one -on -one contact. That's what I'm after. So people don't have to just look at someone on a stage being a robot. They can actually come right over and play with me. Up close and personal. That's the way we like it. That's the way I like it, George. 
Hey, thanks for being on Primetime. It's been, oh, a pleasure. Are you kidding? I've heard about Primetime. I wanted to be on this show. You've heard all those rumors. I'm sure. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Primetime. You're the greatest. I love these guys. We'll be right back with more of the big program.